course, just like in the States, you can rent movies. Uh, lots of people rent DVDs. Uh, Blu-ray is kind of slowly getting popular, but not that much. And um, there's still not a whole lot of interest in some of the, you know, uh, streaming kind of downloading content options uh, that you might find in the States. Uh, a lot of people still just, you know, go and rent a real DVD and then watch it at home. Um, but it is a pretty common thing to do. Lots of people like to rent stuff, especially during summer vacation when there's a lot of free time. And uh, it's always a fun thing to do. Uh, prices, you know, are pretty the same as they are in the States. Usually, uh, you know, you can get a, a movie for 2 or $3 or so, depending on when and how long you keep it and how new it is. Uh, but it's a pretty common, uh, fun kind of thing to do, of course, as an alternative to going to see movies, since movies are so expensive here. Um, I don't know, maybe these days you could even say they're almost the same as they are in the States. The States have gotten so much more expensive now. Um, but it is a pretty uh, good thing to do. And buying DVDs and keeping them for your own home collection is pretty pricey here. Um, at least twice as much, I think, as the States on average. And most people don't have huge, massive collections of things that they keep at home. Unless they're a huge fan, um, especially for anime kinds of things, they might buy those. But uh, generally, you don't see a lot of people have these massive DVD collections like people, like my friends do in the States. So, um, then the other side is you can, of course, uh, rent, um, music in Japan, which is a totally unique thing. Uh, you usually uh, don't think about that at all, but that's a norm here. You rent uh, CDs and then you're allowed to copy them to any device that you like. You can copy them to, like in the old school days, you'd copy it to a cassette or to a uh, mini disc. Uh, these days, of course, you just uh, rip it into your computer and keep them as MP3 formats. Um, so that's kind of a unique thing considering it's such not a no, it's such a huge no-no in the States. So that's what kind of allows for some difference of, um, you know, rules and laws and regulations for music dis distribution between the two countries. But, um, and then you also have the situation of games. Now I know in the States you can rent games, but here you cannot. Uh, you have to buy them, uh, but then you can sell them used, of course, if you want to. So uh, as an alternative, you can also go to game cafes, and uh, these are kind of places where people like to hang out, especially high school kids that, uh, you know, they go and they hang out there. Uh, they can, you can watch TV, you can play games, uh, those kinds of things. Um, it's sort of an alternative place to hang out. Um, but those are some of the options that we have here, at least. I'd be curious what kinds of options you guys have. I know when I first came here to Japan um, over, over 15, 16 years ago in the summer, I was so excited to go to the music store and pick all these things that I could then rent, you know, listen to and copy and have. Um, and, uh, you know, CDs here are pretty expensive. They usually are, you know, $25 or so for a, a new CD. So it's common to, uh, you know, rent. With the influx of iTunes, of course, more people are going that route uh, since it's almost the same as renting it and you get the same results. So um, I'm curious to see if the rental houses are going to go out of business, like I know so many rental houses, uh, you know, uh, DVD rental places are going out of business in the States. So.